um, welcome back. So today I'll be talking about all my um, emptied up products. So it's my first um, empties video. Usually I will keep my empty products for a couple of months. I'll usually gather them and then I will take pictures and I will post it on my daily. Um, so, but I decided, you know, I thought why not just try a video so I can actually chit chat with you and share things I like, things I don't like. So without further ado, let's get started on products that I like. The very very first item, it is a um, plan. Okay, so I have two um, makeup removers to share. The first one is the Garnier um, Micellar Cleansing Water. I used to use Bioderma, but I it's pretty pricey, so I I tried out the Garnier ones, and I really quite like it. It's actually not bad at all. It's gentle. It removes my makeup pretty well. It doesn't leave a film. Doesn't feel oily or anything. And I think this must be like my fourth or fifth bottle. Highly recommend this if you're looking for cleansing water. And then um, for my second one, it is the Skin Food Milkshake Point Makeup Remover. So this is my favorite eye makeup remover, eye and lips makeup remover. So any um, waterproof makeup, this will take it off so well. It smells a bit milky and it's not oily in what sense, um, but it can remove any waterproof eye makeup. I swear, and it doesn't feel like it's too harsh on your eyes. Um, it. It is, it is awesome. Like. I, I don't know whether you can get it in Singapore skin food, but typically, you know, I usually will get my friends to pick up quite a bit for me from Korea whenever they get a chance to, and I love this. I think I've gone through like, I think almost, uh, I think at least close to seven or eight bottles of this. Highly recommend. So, um, aside from next, aside from cleansing waters, there are some skincare items that I usually go through quite a bit. So, the first one is my um, toner, the Mamon. Rose Water Toner. So this is just a straight up no fast, no frills, um, hydrating toner that smells like roses. So if you like rose, I highly recommend this. And um, this is my second 500ml bottle. Currently, I, I, I think I'm using a 250ml bottle. So this is very, very good. It smells amazing. So um, the next item is, um, there are some Naruko items that I really like. In case you don't know what's Naruko, Naruko is actually a Taiwan brand that started by this uh, makeup artist who is called Niuo Lao Shi. Niuo Lao Shi. So um, I used to watch all the Taiwanese, um, uh, what do you call it, entertainment shows. And uh, there's this show called Nguyen Wo Zui Da. That's how I got to know him. And he always shared very good skincare tips. And he started his own brand um, called Naruko. So I have quite a few items and I really like products from them. The first one that I think I've emptied out previously, um, it is the, I don't know whether you can see, it is the um, Tea Tree Shine Control and Blemish Clear Toner. This is a bit minty and uh, it does contain alcohol but it's okay on my skin. It is, um, it smells a bit like tea tree oil um, and it feels yeah, minty on your skin. I find that this helps me to control my blemishes and it makes me feel like my skin is less oily. I haven't repurchased this but I think I want to. Um, you can actually get this range of products in Watson's if I'm not wrong or you can order it directly from Naruko's website. And I, I really like the tea tree range but I know some people don't really like it but for me it does suit my skin pretty well. If you do not like tea tree oil smell you will not like this but for me I love it. Um, and another tea tree range from Naruko I tried is uh, a sample size of their night jelly. Yeah, so it's a sample size of their night jelly which smells just like the toner. It works pretty nicely on my skin. Um, I didn't notice whether it, it helps me to you know, um, reduce my blemishes but I like the smell and I it is not very minty lah, so I like it. And um, because I like the other night jellies um, from Naruko and basically night jelly is like a sleeping mask. It's uh, their version like, and they spell jelly with a G which is very strange. At first I thought it was like a typo but that is just how they spell it. So it's like G-E-L-L-Y. Yeah, but I enjoy this and but the one I really really like is the... is this one. This is the night jelly I really like and it's the Rose and um, Botanic H-A Aqua Cubic Night Jelly. So this is the one that smells like roses 
and it's just straight up good hydration on the skin. It, it doesn't feel minty, you know, there's, I don't think there's any brightening effect but this just really keeps all the moisture in the night, especially for someone like me who sleeps in an air-conditioned room every single night. I really, really enjoy this. I can't remember whether I have a backup but currently I'm going through, you know, my other um, sleeping mask but this is definitely something I'll repurchase for sure. Highly, highly recommend. Okay, so um, a, a couple more uh, skincare items that I've used up. Uh, first one is another toner. So this is the Innisfree uh, Minimum Toner for sensitive skin. So before I got you know all into crazy about makeup and skincare products, I was very into Innisfree. And this is one item that I've used a lot because it, there is no smell. It comes with a spray. Um, it's a, a little small but I usually, uh, as in the bottle is a bit small but usually I'll just spray it all over my face and I'll pat it in or sometimes when I feel that I need to you know, cleanse any residue oil or dirt on my face I will spray it on a cotton pad before gently swiping it on my skin um, This is very good if you do not like scents They have uh, one full range, you know, it comes with creams I think and other um, skincare products So if you do not like smells and you want something, you know, just uh, good for your skin or you don't like Added fragrance, you want something uh, that suits sensitive skin, you can check check out this range from me. The next skincare item I would like to share with is the Skin Food uh, Premium Tomato Whitening Cream. I typically do not like to use creams because I find them a bit heavy for my acne prone skin, but this cream is not too heavy. In fact, you know, I don't think it's very sticky or very thick. And I am just soaked by the word whitening because I think it really works. Um, it helps me to reduce some acne scars and some uneven skin tone. So I, I, I do think that this works and I think this is my second or third tube. I, I stay over at my boyfriend's place during the weekend so I have a separate skincare set at his house that I will use um, you know, over the weekend and this is one item that I keep repurchasing. I think you can get it from uh, our local skin food stores but I do get my friends to help me to buy it from Korea as well so you know I like it that it comes with a pump you can see I really squeeze it all out to try to finish every single drop of it and um, it is it has a fragrance but it's, it's quite mild it doesn't linger on your skin and it doesn't cause me to break out or it doesn't cause my skin to react negatively to it so if you're looking for a whitening cream um, that is not too heavy I would recommend you to try this out this is the um, LRP um, Effa Claire K Plus. So I used to use this a little bit around my nose to prevent clogged pores and uh, formation of blemishes but I've stopped using it after a while because I'm using other products now that helps me but I do think that this is good if you have some mild problems in terms of clogged pores and blemishes. Uh. But I some people say that it doesn't really work, it doesn't work as well as the other products in the same range but I thought you know if you have sensitive skin but and you don't want something too harsh you can give this a try um, I may or may not repurchase this in the future uh, but for now I don't really need that I, I finished it you see I still squeeze it clean as well and um, I also finished up a very very cute small sample size of the um, Suwasu First Care Activating Serum so I am thinking of doing a a full review of the Suwasu products I've been trying but just a sneak peek you know I really really like this serum I think it works wonders but that's all I'll say for now I do think that this is really good among all the other Suwasu products I've been trying so if you're thinking of looking for a serum that helps your skincare products to absorb into your skin I think that this is one good product to try out um, yeah that's all I'll say for now lah. but I really like this um, serum and I'm on to the full size now so yeah Last, it's not really a skincare, it's more like a body care. I have pretty dry skin, especially my hands um, peel very easily. So I like to use um, a lotion, but I, not, I don't like anything too oily or sticky as, you know, leaving fingerprints all over or feeling just way too heavy for me um, because of Singapore weather. So this is one lotion that I've been using a lot of. Um, it's the Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe um, Lotion, body lotion. I do not like the palm version. As I find that um, the pump version sometimes get a bit dusty, like, like you know the area, the nozzle. I think is that what you call the nozzle of the pump. It gets a bit dusty, so I prefer small bottles like this, and I can bring it around with me um, sometimes when I feel that I need the extra boost of hydration, or I you know when I got staycations or um, 
whenever lah, I just like to have at least one or two bottles of this at home. And I really like the Vaseline range. It's not too thick. It doesn't smell too crazy um, of any fragrance. And it's very lightweight and it keeps my skin hydrated. Yeah, recommend this. Um, and onto a few makeup products. I, I the, the thing I go through the most is powders because I like to set my face. Or sometimes I will skip foundation on the whole and I'll just use um, powder. So one of the powders I really like is the Clear Last. Oh, you cannot really see. It's the Clear Last Face Powder and I like to use the high cover one, the pink packaging one. It's a bit dark for me, but I like to use it, you know, on, on when I have slightly darker skin and it helps to last all day, you know, it gives me pretty good coverage and it stays matte, which is what I like. I've recommended a lot of my friends to try this out as well and they do like it. So um, if you're looking to try a new powder, to replace say, your current foundations or uh, setting powder this is something you can try and it lasts pretty well in Singapore weather um, another face powder that I, I like is actually um, it's a powder that I got from Japan I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand it is I don't know whether you can see um, C-E-Z-A-N-N-E Cizane Cizan. I don't know how to pronounce this but it's basically um, I when I was in Japan late last year I was researching on products that I should buy from their drugstore and this came out as one of the recommended products. So I this 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 powder, I think um, people in Japan have been using it as like a foundation powder but I use it as a setting powder. I do use it as a foundation powder sometimes you know when I'm lazy to use a proper foundation or BB cushion. I'll use this and I'll just pat it all over and it smooths up my skin so well. Um, I, do, I hardly ever use a setting spray so this still lasts on my combination skin. Um, as you can see, I've hit pan and lucky I got my friend Mitch to help me to get one back from Japan as I don't think you can really find this in Singapore. Um, I got it in the shade 01. I think there are two shades, uh, 01 and 02. So 01 is a pretty good match for me um, and I'm sort of on the fair side. So if you're ever in Japan or if someone going to Japan and you want to try a new powder, you can give this a go. It comes with a small puff that I don't really like. So sometimes I'll just sew my velour puff. No, I'll just pat my velour puff in or I'll sew a brush on it to use it on on my face but yeah I really highly enjoy it and I'm really on to the new one already yeah I keep it I actually bring it everywhere with me in case I need to touch up yeah. so I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it um the last makeup product which is part of my empties it is the Dolly Wink uh, mascara volume mascara I, um, it's waterproof it's in the light blue packaging this gives me um good volume pretty good length um, and it lasts so well on my oily eyelids it's ridiculous and it's not that difficult to remove I removed it with the skin food um, makeup remover that I mentioned earlier in the video in this video so this is basically what I have been enjoying before the end but I have eyelash extensions on now clearly so um, I do not use mascara in the moment but I love this so much I have a backup of it I use uh, I also tried out the pink packaging one which is the length version which is I don't think it's as good lah. it's so watery and it doesn't really uh, coat my lashes properly and it dry, takes a long time to dry so if you want to try one of the Dolly Wink mascaras I highly recommend the volume one um, I this is not really emptied out I think I still can use it but I change up my mascaras every three to four months uh, for hygiene purposes especially if you're like me wearing a lot of eye makeup so yeah that's that so now moving on to products that I'm feeling mm, not so much about I don't really know how to feel about them moving on to products that I'm feeling quite meh about um, there are some lesser than what I like lah. so the first item is actually the L'Oreal um, Hydra Fresh Spa Water. So before I was into beauty products, right? So much beauty products. I was using pretty minimal skincare items and this is one of the items that I was using. Uh, and I usually put it at my boyfriend's place um, and I think it acts like a lotion or not really a serum, like a lo light lotion of sorts. So I was basically just using this and a cream and call it a day. I think it's okay. It's it smells not quite nice, but I have better products, so I'll not be repurchasing repurchasing this. Mm, there are better products out there for lesser amount of money. So yeah, I I I'm I'm okay lah. Yeah. So the next item is the it's a mascara. It's the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. 
So I, um, before I bought this, I actually tried out the regular Better Than Six Mascara in a sample size. It's not bad. The, the wand is like humongous lah. But I thought, since they came with waterproof version and I prefer waterproof mascaras, so I thought why not just give it a try. Um, and I think I bought it during a sale. I think a Sephora sale previously. Um, the wand is humongous. It is... I think it's more for Angmo. <laughs> it's more for Angmo lashes. I think for us Asian lashes, right, it's a bit too huge. And I find that it's very, quite difficult to use because it keep touching my eyelids when I try to use this. It does smudge a little bit and it takes a lot of time to dry. But I would say that it gives such a good amount of volume. Vava boom effect. That's what I would say. Like. It gives a vava boom effect. And I like how the packaging is... Um, because it's waterproof, there's actually, I don't think you can see, there's actually like small crystals. Um, yeah, not sure whether you can see, but there are like small crystals um, of sorts on it to seem like there's water droplets. Huh? So that's a very cute touch. But would I repurchase this? Probably not. I still prefer Asian mascaras. Um, but if you're looking for something that gives very, very crazy volume and you do not mind that it's, it takes a little bit longer time to dry, you can try this out. But I, I'm okay. So the um, next item, it is a concealer by The Body Shop. So this is also another product that I used to use a lot when I was in not that into beauty products. Ah. So it is a stick concealer, cream concealer. So it has tea tree oil properties and I like to use this on my blemishes. And back then when I wasn't wearing much, much makeup, liquid concealers were a bit too much for me to blend out. So I like to use this and I just touch it on like say spots that needs a bit of extra help to cover up like any red spots. I don't think it lasts very long but I think it does help me to heal my um, pimples. But I haven't been using this for the longest time and I thought it's time for me to throw it out. It's not exactly an empties but I like to throw out things that I don't use anymore so that I have more space. Uh. But if you are someone who likes very light makeup or someone who doesn't really wear um, heavy makeup on day to day, this can be something to check out if you want to cover up your blemishes or help them to heal. So this is okay, but I not in the meantime I'll probably not purchase it anytime soon. The next item it is actually um, a sample size item. It's from Benefit. It is the Pore Fashional. I used to like it, but I don't really like super silicone um, primer. So I think it does feel like pores, but I feel that it clogs my pores a little bit. I just prefer something that helps me to keep my oil under control. Um, so for this, I mm, not 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 feeling too much about it. I think I have the big size one that I may have given away or thrown away. I can't remember, but I just found this in my collection. I thought it's time to, you know, get rid of it. So if you're someone who likes need some pore feeling primer, I would think this is good. I think it helps your makeup to last a bit longer, but I prefer other primers at the moment. So yeah. So here are some other, oh sorry, there's one more product uh, for like meh feeling, it is the Iope Cushion. So I used to love the Iope Cushion but I think I started using it when I went to Korea previously and it's it's okay, it's like a regular cushion, it's not bad um, but I find that it doesn't last as long as other cushions that I have tried such as the Laneige one or currently there's another one that I've been trying. Um, and I find that it is a bit heavy for me. And ever since I got, you know, started to do more research and started to know what kind of um, base that I want, you know, being a bit more particular, I find that this is like, mm, okay, I still have a, I still have a backup of this, so I'll probably give it away. I'm not sure whether I'll still use it, but because this is their regular IOP cushion, it's not the matte finish one. So probably the matte finish one will suit me better because I have combination skin and my T-zone is really oily. I need something that helps to keep my oil under control. And this is unfortunately not suitable for me at the moment. But if you have normal to dry skin, I would say the IOP cushion would be good for you. Yeah, but for me now, not really. So yeah, getting rid of it. And here are some products that I do not like at all. The first one is a Etude, Etude House product. It's another cushion product. Is this? The packaging is really very thin and very nice, and it's quite pretty. It is the um, real powder cushion, and I'm using it in natural beige. So at first, when I heard about like a cushion, baby cushion that gives you a powder finish, I was really intrigued because I very matte base, so I always powder my base, my foundations, or any other um, 
base products that I'm using but I find that this because it dries so quickly and it has a pretty powdery finish I find that you cannot go back and pat it in the same spot again it works like a normal beauty cushion but you every time you try to do it it looks so cakey so uneven and the coverage is not bad but I find it it emphasizes all my pores and all my um, texture that I do not want people to notice this is terrible it's 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 really horrible i do not like it at all i still prefer a regular baby cushion you know that doesn't look dewy but also not have a powdery finish so i can choose to powder my um base only when i'm done with making sure everything is even out and i have uh, layered it properly but this is just no go and i only used it like once or twice and i was having horrible makeup days when i was trying this so I am getting rid of this, I'm sorry. And I'm so glad it doesn't come with a refuse, so I don't have to feel so guilty of getting rid of it. But no, I do not recommend anybody to use this. I, I don't know who actually want to use this. Not even for oily skin, I think. I mm, No, no. So no. Troll. And then the next product it is a mascara. It's this one from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sen Sensational uh, Waterproof Version. I do not like this. It's waterproof, maybe it's waterproof, but it doesn't last well on my oily lids, which is such a pity. I would say that it does fan out my lashes pretty well, but the volume is not there. This is the wand. So the wand is pretty unique, it's like a banana shape. Yeah, that's about what I call it, with very thin bristles. Um, but I just do not like the effect on me, it doesn't give me enough volume, and it just doesn't last on me. So no, um, yeah. I, I, I'm not a very big fan of US mascaras. Um, I prefer um, Asian mascara. So, yeah, I do not like this at all. So, troll. And the very last product it is this um, Snail Essential Sleeping Pack yeah. from Sale. Is that how you pronounce it? S A E M. So, I like products from this brand, but um, I do not like this. This was given to me. I don't find it hydrating enough. Um, it smells okay, I guess. There's not too much of a scent and I know that snail products is very good for the skin. But this just doesn't work as well as other sleeping masks that I've used so far. And I find that, yeah, it just doesn't make my feel, skin feel any better the next day. Um, and, I, and it's not accessible in Singapore anyway, so it's not too much of a pity that I do not like it. Um, probably I'll try other products from this brand but I think I'll stick to their makeup products in the meantime yeah so no do not recommend their other better sleeping masks don't waste your time or money on this so that's all that I have for my empties video and um, I am sorry if I'm rambling on quite a bit on products that I like and um, and I'm yeah but I hope this helps you if you are aiming any of the products that I mentioned, you know, thinking whether to try it out. I hope this helps. This is just a very quick review, you know, on things that I've finished or things that I'm looking to throw away. And I will probably do this every couple of months when I have more things emptied out or if I have new things to mention. And um, yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to list all the products in the description box below. Yeah, so that's all that I have. Thank you for watching and um, I have some other videos in the midst of planning. Um, we shall, you know, we shall see when they will be out. I will, you know, if you have any suggestions as well, uh, you can leave them below. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! That's good.